Beats.com. Virgin Beats with no tags. too much period hello i am back back with another video please subscribe if you are new if you don't know who i am hello my name is justice i go by jaybird on youtube and i do a bunch of videos on positivity lawyer tips law school tips and just tips in life in general so i have been asked to do a small little video and i thought this would be a cool video to add to my vlogmas now that i'm home and drink some vanilla chai tea and if you guys want to know what goes in that i'll put that below in the description but let's go ahead and get started because you see the title of the video um you guys had asked me in the other video and i will tag right here or put somewhere in the screen um, the person who actually asked for this video so somebody had asked me you know what justice how did you get your own apartment and you go to law school at the same time how is it the struggle are you living through it how did you get it what about financial aid and all these type of things so i said why not make a small five tip video on how to budget very quickly i just want to shout out kaylin jones for this video idea thank you so much so tip number one is organization so in this nice lovely folder that my mom bought me i believe she got me this from walmart and I don't know how much it was because this was bought when they had that tax free weekend. But I'm pretty sure you can get one of these from like Staples or something like that. And I'll try to look for one and put one similar below in the description. So um, basically it's this nice little filing cabinet. Each tab has a title. So I'm just going to come forward so you can kind of see. But here's what the tabs look like. And as you can see, like this one's labeled FAFSA. This one right here is labeled voter registration. And this is very important because you wanna stay organized when it comes to your bills. You wanna stay organized when it comes to your payment cycles. And you wanna stay organized as to what you actually owe or what you're paying for. So organization is very important and labeling this and having this organized like this is the best thing. You also wanna keep a paper trail when it comes to organization. I'm telling you some companies, I'm not saying all, but sometimes like your water bill or whatever, they might try to be like, oh, you didn't pay this month? Mm -mm -mm. Here's my paper trail. Uh, trail. I will go straight to the water tab or electricity tab. And um, I even have a Wi-Fi tab because I pay a Wi-Fi bill. So I take out my Wi-Fi bill and I'm like, listen, I know that you're saying on your end that I didn't pay it, but on my end, I can clearly see I did. I can tell you the date, I can tell you the confirmation number, and I can even tell you when, I can even show you a banking statement as to when it pulled out of my account. So those are the things that you definitely need to have because sometimes things happen, some people lose documents, but you wanna make sure on your end, you're covered. Tip number two. Uh, make sure that you try to become an in-state student. So right now, technically I am a out-of-state student and the tuition is about another twenty to $30,000 higher just because I'm an out-of-state student. So some of the steps that I've been taking to become an in-state student is changing my domicile, which in legal terms means your residency and your citizenship in from one state to another and you have an intent to remain there and a new one isn't created until it's changed. So I am basically trying to change it by all of my conduct. So one thing that I've done is I've changed my driver's license to the state of North Carolina. I have changed my vehicle title and I've also changed my license plates to the state of North Carolina. I've also became a registered voter in the state of North Carolina. 
and they assign me my voter registration card and what district I'm voting in. I've also changed my residency, obviously. I also have bills and things in my name paying back to the state of North Carolina. And I also have a P.O. box in the state of North Carolina, which I'm working on now. And I also plan to get like a summer internship or some type of job as to where I could pay taxes back to the state of North Carolina. Now this is very important because you need to establish to the state that you're trying to build residency there um, in order to become an in-state student. But this will save you, I mean, for me, 20,000, but this will save you a lot of money becoming an in-state student. So a lot of my friends have been asking me like, whoa, like why are you changing everything in North Carolina? But the reality is law school is three years long. And also the reality is if I finish law school and I decide to stay in North Carolina, everything will be in my name and everything will already be set. And I don't have to worry about not having things done. So I would suggest that you do that and that is like the best tip. Tip number three, I would suggest uh, go ahead and filling out your FAFSA. Fill out your FAFSA and make sure that you put the right information in there. Also, think about scholarships because financial aid and scholarships are the best thing that can help you. I would definitely invest some time into this. It takes less than like five to ten minutes to fill out. And all you have to do is take like some counseling depending on how much your tuition is. Once you get the money that you need from the financial aid that's sent to you, the money that you don't use, you can go ahead and use that money and pay off the loan that has been given to you. If it's given to you as a grant or a scholarship, you don't owe a cent or a penny back, which is a blessing. And I think that a lot of people just sleep on scholarships and sleep on financial aid. In reality, I did go to an undergrad for four years and now I'm in law school for another three. You can almost kind of call me a forever student because I've been in, in school since I've been in kindergarten or preschool, okay? In reality, yes, I'm gonna have some money to pay back and you're not gonna like it, it sucks, but in reality, your education is something that no one can take care you know take from you and you're educating yourself to benefit your family and benefit others in this country and make a difference or in any country if you're going to do international law so to me it's worth it and it's worth the penny if this is something that you're really passionate about yes it is highly expensive and i cannot lie to you about it but i think that some of the people that have asked me to make this video are very passionate about what they're doing, but I think financial aid and scholarships is another healthy tool that you can use. Okay, tip number four, definitely ask any of your parents or anything if they served in the military or if they have any military connections because um, due to my father being a veteran and serving in the Air Force, I was able to receive, a, as a dependent, I was able to receive a GI Bill. Now, GI Bills are very helpful um, thanks to our country for appreciating those who serve our country and I want to take a moment to thank all of those who do serve our country and they do deserve these rights and they do deserve um, things like this as a GI Bill to give to themselves or to their wives or to their children or their, their husbands or their spouse, okay? It's very important that we recognize their service. Now, adding to that, um, because I had a GI Bill, it was very nice. It, I used it in undergrad and I still had some left over, but basically I get a housing stipend every single month, which is based off of the um, area that I live in, based off the taxes and how much it will cost for me to live. Um, sadly, my school does not offer housing, so I had to get my own apartment. Now, I will say this, apply to as many law schools as you possibly can and make sure that you're looking at all your options because I will say it would be nice if my school did provide housing only because I would not have to worry about paying rent every single month on time but I will say it's a blessing that I do have financial aid and that I do have a GI Bill that sends a housing stipend because this housing stipend can help with groceries it can help with emergencies you can put it in your savings it can help with rent it can help with your books and it can help with things that you really do need so I just want 
want to say thank you to our government, one, and thank you to those who serve, and thank you to my father especially for serving and, one, caring for me as his daughter and as a dependent of his and able to use that as a blessing because it is a blessing. Tip number five, and the last tip that I could possibly give you, and I kind of mentioned it already, but seek all your options, okay? Do not limit yourself into a box. Definitely um, become more organized and definitely think about, okay, if I'm gonna be an out-of-state student, how long does it take for me to become an in-state student? How many schools will give scholarships to me based off of my um, academia, based off of my race, based off of my skills and assets, leadership skills, anything, your GPA, um, community service. Look for programs where you might specify in a specific law that you would like to practice. If you want to practice civil rights law, or family law or international law there are some schools who have programs dedicated to that specific field or scholarships for that specific type of law that you want to practice and they're willing to give it to you if you have the qualifications that's met or whatever so um, definitely do that and also don't be afraid to ask questions a lot of people are afraid to ask questions when it comes to financial aid because it is a touchy subject but in reality be honest and put it all out there be like listen I'm broke you know you know what I'm saying put your predicament out there because the schools are willing to have you and help you and if you're accepted and you know that's where you want to go go ahead and start planning go ahead and get in contact with financial aid go ahead and get in contact with the person who's doing the scholarships and blow their phone up I I mean, I've called so many times for the financial aid office, the Veterans Affairs office, and um, student accounting so many times just to put my name out there, to let, the, um, let them recognize who I am as a student, and let them know that I am serious about attending this university, and I need your help, and I need these things to get done. But I hope these five tips are very helpful to you guys, and I hope you guys peek the fit. And um, I just hope you guys think that this video is very helpful. And if there's anything else that I could provide as to how I budget and how I am surviving, <laughs> Uh, paying for it and getting things done um, I will not be afraid to answer any questions but I hope this video answers them enough and I feel like YouTube is the best platform to motivate others and you guys motivate me because people give me so much motivation and encouragement to keep going and I just love it so I want to say thank you to all of those who subscribe to my channel thank you guys for leaving positive comments thank you for everybody interacting and, and just liking the videos and watching the videos because it means a lot lot to me and I hope you guys hit that subscribe button hit that notification button and just keep watching all right peace